Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be continuing our connected series with MailChimp, specifically looking at how to connect MailChimp with Facebook. Stay tuned, it's coming up next. So the reason for this video is because a couple of you have posted in the comments and as well as myself have experienced some issues with the uh, adding your form to your Facebook page. And we're gonna walk through that and I'm gonna show you the steps that I do and also show you the error that I'm receiving and maybe a couple of workarounds that you can do in the meantime until they sort it out with the new Facebook look. I'm sure that's probably the cause. So let's get started. So we've already logged in to uh, MailChimp. We've clicked on our integrations tab. And now we're gonna go down here on under the all tab and click on Facebook. Once you're on the Facebook integration page, there's a couple of things I want you to take notice of. One is that you'll be agreeing to additional terms. And you should be reading this thoroughly. It is important for you to always review the fine print in these cases. Also, before we click the connect button, uh, we'll click on the more. Here it says you'll with well, the things that you need to before you start. So you'll, you'll need an active Facebook account. You'll need an Instagram business account. Now that's relatively easy to switch over to a business account, uh, but you'll need to have that in order for this to work. And you also have to approve each of Facebook's permissions. You cannot say, well, don't allow this, don't allow that, because it won't get connected. So keep that in mind. So always read over this information. It's there for a reason. All right, so now click on Get Connected here. So let's click Connect. Now immediately it's gonna say, review the info you provide. So we'll click on that. And right now it's just name and profile picture. Continue as me. All right, so here it is. MailChimp would like to manage your business, access profile and posts from the Instagram account connected to your page, create a post in your Instagram account, access insights for the Instagram account connected to your page, access your page and app insights, read content posted on the page, manage accounts, settle. You can read all that information. Also make sure you again, read the privacy policy down here. All right, so read this information, read the privacy policy, read the terms. And then uh, don't just blindly click OK, because if you have more than one page, you'll be connecting MailChimp to all those pages, and you might not necessarily want that. So I, I select choose what you allow, because I have other pages here that I'm technically an admin, but I don't really manage. So I do not want it on that. I do not want it on that. I do not want it on that. And you cannot go forward without turning this on and turning that on and, and at least one page, okay? Then click okay. Okay, it says we're now connected, I think, yes. It says test connection, uh, connected as Larry Snow, and then it'll allow you to select the page. Now, even though I said you do not have access to those other pages, it still lists all the pages here that I can still connect to. So keep that in mind. And we're gonna use the strategic marketing solutions one. And it says no audience connected, so we'll select our one audience that we have. Now it says, do you want to use the sign up form tab? Now, if you're not using that feature, uh, that's fine, but this video is going to go through that step of connecting up your sign up form. And what theme do you want for your form when you connect it? So obviously, we'll say use sign up form tab, say yes. Uh, I always keep it to my audience theme. Uh, which is the default, because if you use Facebook-esque, it doesn't show up very well. And then you can change the tab label, something like uh, sign up today. And then we'll click save. And we're gonna click on test connection. All right, we're good to go. It's connected to me on Facebook. So we're all set there. So let's go over to the Facebook side and see what's going on there. All right, so we're over on my page on Facebook and we already got a notification here that says you've changed MailChimp's access to your personal info. And so everything is good to go there. In the manage page section, I'm gonna click on settings 
templates and tabs. And if you scroll down to the tab section, we have a sign up today. So that is the tab name that we gave it, the label we gave it to our tab for our sign up form on the Facebook page. So there's nothing much else to do here, but this should give you the opportunity to change the location of where this tab shows up on your page. And when I try to drag it like you can with other tabs, I get this error. Oops, something went wrong. We're working on it to get it fixed soon, as soon as we can. Now, a couple of you have commented that this is the error that you're getting. There's actually nothing that you can do at this point until Facebook catches up with things. So what ends up happening, if we go back to the page, is that your signup form ends up under the More tab. Here it is here. Email signup. And so it does work. It's totally functional. I'm not sure why I have birthday in there. I still have to edit some things in this test account. Uh, but everything works fine. And once a person submits it, they, you know, from, from your standpoint, they could go into a automation series or a one-off email or something like that. And everything works fine. The problem is people don't know that this is here. They have to click on more tab in order to see it. So there's two things that you can do. One is you can grab the URL of your app, your MailChimp app that's hosting this form. Grab that URL, go to your home page, create a post, and then post in the URL. And rather than giving this facebook.com stuff, just load up an image and then say, hey, everybody, you know, please join my list and you'll get a freebie or something like that so that people know that it's happening. And then you can share out that post and it'll go to that form on your page. So that's one way you can do it. The other way is discard that. The other way is to go over to your website and maybe you have the giveaway there. For instance, on my website here, I'm doing a giveaway for a free ebook, and I could certainly share that page onto my uh, Facebook page. So that's two ways that you can kind of get around this situation that's happening. Because, you know, I'd really like to have the email signup tab, you know, even before events or that type of thing, uh, so that people can see it when they come visit my page. But if you share it out in a post or share it from your page or maybe even a landing page, you can share it out to your Facebook page. So that's how you connect your MailChimp account to your Facebook page. That's how you put in your form. And with this connection, not only do you get the form, but you also get the opportunity to run Facebook ads through MailChimp. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.